guys you wanted connecting to router within one network boosting wi-fi share resources watch this video to find out how to connect two or more routers to any network without any cable and also know how to boost your wi-fi network signal or create one more access point within the existing network why would you combine defense router into one network in some situations one router may be insufficient to build a network or provide high quality Wi-Fi coverage. It means that it may be unable to provide the desired Wi-Fi coverage area or may not have the number of ports required of the device that are connected to such network. Some rooms or premises may appear to be beyond the range of the router's Wi-Fi signal. This situation is well known to people who deal with the tax of building a Wi-Fi network in large house, apartment or an office consisting of many rooms. If it happens, additional equipment has to be installed to extend the network to the desired coverage and it is not that difficult as it may seem. Here I have set up the wireless network at my office using two routers connected without any Ethernet cable. The main router is connected to the ISPS ADSL modem. Then there is a second wireless router that is connected to the main router without any Ethernet or Cat5 cable. The main router is on the ground floor while the second one is on the first floor and the entire premises get a good Wi-Fi signal. The router provides four working modes, wireless router, WISP, range extender and access point. You can choose the mode to better suit your network needs and slow the guy to complete the configuration. Now I will show you how to configure the WISP client router mode on the TP-Link which model name is TLWR841N. First of all, you need to ensure that your wireless router supports the WISP mode because not all routers support it. Connect the power adapter to the router. After turn on the router, press reset button more than 15 seconds and then wait about few minutes for it to restart. Connect your router by mobile or computer. Your router IP address is needed to access its control panel. Most router manufacturers use 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1 as the default LAN IP address. Turn over the device, you can see a label at the back of the router. There you will see some character string like default access, default settings, default wireless access. You will also see default username and password for the router. This is the address you enter into your browser's address bar to access the control panel and settings. Of course, you will need to enter your router's admin username and password too. If your router is TP-Link then visit http clone slash slash link wifi dot net and log in with the username and password you set for the router. Log into the setting page for your router and find the item called operation mode or something like that. Go to operation mode and select the working mode as WISP and click save. You may have to wait a while for the system to reboot in. After completed, go to wireless setting. In the wireless setting page, click scan to find the signal of the wireless router. 
Select the client's network from the AP list and click connect. Configure the AP setting for the wireless network. You can change your second router wireless network name here. Enter the selected network's wireless password in the password field then click save. second router to the wireless network and into the internet. Now you can change your second router default password to. Now again need to visit http clone slash slash 192.168.0.1 or http clone slash slash 192.168.1.1 to login instead of tp-link wifi.net. For wireless password change, go to wireless then wireless security. In the wireless password field, enter a new password which own your choice and click save. the router setting change, you will need to reconnect all your wireless devices to the new new named wireless network and provide the new Wi-Fi password. Your device will not be able to reconnect until you do it.